In Creo Simulate, you can analyze structural stresses as a result of temperature differentials. Let's take a look at how to do that. But before we jump into Creo Simulate, let's take a look at our material properties. I'm going to access my properties dialog box, which I have added to the quick access toolbar. Here's the material assigned to the part. If I click on the change button, it'll bring open the materials dialog box. Let's go to our steel material over here. And you can see for the material, we have a few properties. These are grayed out because they come from the library. The critical ones for doing structural analysis with thermal stresses from temperature differentials are the Young's modulus that we see over here and the coefficient of thermal expansion. Let's cancel out of here. Now we'll go over to Creo Simulate. I'll go to the Applications tab. Here we have Creo Simulate. And the first thing that I will do, since I already have a material signed, to find some constraints. And I'm just going to pick some of the different surfaces over here. Let's grab this one as well and this one. So that's good. And I'm just going to have all the translations fixed in X, Y, and Z. Since these are going to be 3D elements, the rotations do not matter. Just leave them free. I'll click the OK button out of there, and you can see the different icons in the graphics area indicating that we have our constraints. To define your temperature differential, you'll use this button over here. But before we do that, let's take a look at the math behind this. Here I am in PTC MathCAD Prime 6.0, and the thermal stress formula is that the stress is going to be equal to the Young's modulus times the coefficient of thermal expansion times the temperature differential. For example, if I'm using this as my Young's modulus, here I have a value for the coefficient of thermal expansion. Here we have a delta T, pretty big, of 100 degrees per Celsius. You can see the resulting stresses. And in this particular case, with a delta of 100 degrees Celsius, that would be 260 megapascals when the yield strength of steel is 350 megapascals. So for big temperature differentials, yes, you can have big stresses. All right, back over into Creo Simulate. Let's go to the temperature command. And here we have the dialog box. You can change the name if you want to. For example, I can see that this is my thermal differential. You can choose which load set it belongs to. By default, it's going to be applied to the entire component, although you have the ability to apply it to volumes and surfaces. And you can change your spatial variation, for example, if you wanted it to be a function of coordinates or you want to import the temperature from a field file. For example, temperatures that might have been generated in some third party analysis package. But here's where you're going to end up getting the temperature value. You're going to specify sort of like the baseline temperature. For example, I could say it's 22 degrees Celsius. And you have a drop down list if you want to express that in Fahrenheit or Kelvin or ranking. Actually, this is the uh, final temperature it's going to be. Let me change this one over here. This is the base temperature, the reference temperature, 22. And let's say that I want to say, hey, what if it was going to be 75 degrees Celsius? In this case over here, we would have a delta of 53 degrees Celsius that would be used in the analysis. And then I will click the OK button. You can see the icon for the temperature load that I've defined over here. And then I would be able to run my structural analysis using these constraints and this particular load. So that's how you set up a temperature load in a structural analysis. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.